um, yeah. I'm vlogging because so many of you've been asking and this is basically what happens in the morning um, you often see pictures of my lovely nicely made bed behind me when I'm filming but actually this is the reality Betty her blanket and she finds the warmest spot which is mine because I've just come out of the bed and there she is it's all about comfort isn't it boo boo yeah leave me alone go away and of course my phone who doesn't wake up in the morning and basically check their phone um, yes sad but true so good morning it's Tuesday and it's the start I've of a made. We finally made the bed and makeup done as you can see. I whacked on some of the um, Hourglass Illusion because I've been basically wearing Yves Saint Laurent for days, weeks, um, since I bought it and I just felt like a change so I got that out. Um, I have edited down my makeup again, had a really good sort out boxed up bits of friends, stuff that I don't use anymore and then just bits and pieces that really needed to go in the bin so I've really taken down, especially my sort of foundation, skin tint, that kind of thing I've really edited them down um, just, <sighs> there's just too much, it's ridiculous and a lot of them I wasn't using at all and I was avoiding them then I was using them because I felt I should you know how it is and I just thought why, you know, just you keep what you're going to use and get rid of everything else so um yeah and i've got i just think she does the best shade charlotte tilbury color chameleon in dark pearl and then rock and curl in barbarella brown which i've had the barbarella brown before and i love it and i like this sort of dark pearl because it's a little bit like the tone of her eyes to mesmerize the mona lisa which i love so it's a beautiful day gorgeously sunny I love it um so I'm going to take Betty for a walk first of all and then I'm going to come back I haven't had breakfast yet but I'm not starvingly hungry and I'm trying to only eat when I'm about ready to collapse um so I'm going to do that and then I'm going to think about what I'm going to have for breakfast we do have a couple of croissants oh which I could put them in the oven and warm them up doesn't that sound great? So I may do that. So I'm going to take Betty out. Um, but the sun's shining, the water's glistening. So I think we're going to go and have a little stroll and see what we can discover on our walk today. And there we go. Glorious sunshine. A lot of the trawlers have now gone out. They stayed in when the weather was bad. But it's just blue skies, nothing but blue skies. I can't sing. Isn't that gorgeous though? Oh, just look at that. Evening all. Um, I basically vlogged this morning and completely forgot to pick the camera up for the rest of the day. I didn't do anything exciting. I took Betty for a walk, as I said. Um, just had a look at the beach because after Storm Emma, it was a bit of a state, but it looks great now. It's very steep though, that's the only thing. And of course, Betty wanted to go down all the steep bits and I just know that I'm gonna fall and make a fool of myself. And there was quite a lot of people you know what it's like when bad stuff happens, people come from all over to have a nosy, that. Um, so today, what have I done today? Oh, washing. Like it's complicated, putting it in a machine. Um, but I don't like to use a dryer too often, so, you know, done a couple of loads of washing, put them to dry. Um, and that's sort of been it. I've been doing more paperwork and stuff today. Um, spent a little bit of time, had a break and had some time in the garden which Betty actually loved, it was quite warm and she has a couple of footballs so we're playing football I should have had the camera, I'm so out of practice vlogging um, so. I'm vlogging on my Olympus camera which is a pain because the screen um, is here, the viewfinder is here and it's really hard to find somewhere to prop it up where you can actually see what's happening and that I'm in focus so I may have to swap cameras because I thought I'd just talk you through the products I'm using to remove all this and it's a beautiful evening so I will try and show you the beautiful evening The thought of swapping cameras, I'll just forget what I filmed on different cameras. So what I really need is to get some sort of tripod 
um, a small tripod. Yes. I'm just going to talk you through the products I'm going to use. You might hear Betty sniffing. So, this evening for my cleansing. Um, I have several cleansers on the go and I like to rotate them. But currently um, I have the Jane Scrivener Nourishing Cleanser which I love. So Jane Scrivener as my first cleanse this evening and then I'm going to go in with the Votary Super Seed um, cleansing oil. This is the Chia and Parsley Seed cleansing oil. It's gorgeous, it smells lovely and it's nearly finished. Very sad about that. Um, I also have the Green um, Clean cleanser from pharmacy if you like a lightweight cleanser you don't want anything that feels too gooey heavy this is very very soft and subtle but effective so I love that and then a favorite of mine and this was sent to me from V London Beauty it's the lavender and lemon cleansing balm and um, the great news is that she's going to do bigger tins so I'm definitely going to have a bigger tin because I love it so I have that as well um, I will be using my Jane Scrivener exfoliant because I'm obsessed with it. As you all know, I have the Emma Hardy um, Lift and Sculpt Firming Neck Treatment, which I'm basically using because I want to use it up. Um, I haven't seen any vast improvement, but I do like the roller system, so I will save it so I can use it with other products. So I have that. Um, currently, I am using the Advanced Night Repair from Estee Lauder, of course, which I've used on and off for a long time. Um, I like it. It's very lightweight and it just fits into morning or evening routines. I also I also have um, the Votary um, Retinal Night Oil which I'm sort of putting into my routine every sort of two or three times a week um, but tonight's not the night for this. I think tomorrow night, Wednesday night, that's when I'll use it. And um, then for this evening I have the Neroli and Frankincense Facial Oil. This is a sample from the lovely Lyman Lilac who's making her own products. So this is a sample of her first launch which is the facial oil. And it's bloody good. I used it for the first time last night and oh. I had to send her a message to just say, wow, this is going to be awesome. You've done a fabulous job. Um, but I've also got the Votary Facial on Neroli and Myrrh, which I really love. And then I have the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate. I've had quite a few bottles of this and I like it. It just works on my skin. Um, and then for sort of a bit of extra, if I want to, I have the May Lindstrom Blue Cocoon, which is just gorgeous i love it love it love it love it um what else have i got oh i have the merimea this is the skin brightening exfoliating peel it's a glycolic very clear gel like product um which you leave on for sort of five minutes plus depending on how your skin is i like it it does leave my skin very sort of clean and smooth um yeah it's okay a reasonable product but I haven't used it that often so I need to give it a fair try before I pass judgment. Eye creams, I have the Beauty Pie Plantastic Youth Guard Eye Cream and then I also have a, sam a simple, a sample of the Sisley um, Eye and Lip Cream as well. So that's what's going on the face tonight to get rid of all this and I shall see you a bit later. And this is what happens when I'm faffing about taking my face off. Betty Bubar makes herself comfortable on the bed. Just so she's close by and she knows what her people are doing. So I have a Betty Ver candle from Dictique. Um, I'm trying to burn a lot of my candles because I do have a lot for display and it does seem a bit silly. So Betty Ver sort of been lingering in the background for some time. It was half burnt through and then I'd left it. So it's now getting well and truly down. But it smells lovely and I love Betty Ver. It's just gorgeous. Dictique are, are really good. And I also use the jars, of course. So this is my sort of dressing table stash. And you will see I've got some smaller size diptyque jars that I use for my fragrances. Um, and then other candle holders I've got brushes in. Um, some of my bases, which are a combination of CC creams and primers. And some large 
cream shadows that just don't fit into my my drawers, um, the Orbe lip balm and then I just sort of pick a selection of makeup and bring it in here to use it so the top drawer it's cleansers, correctors and powders so you see those a lot, you've uh, hourglass there, quite a mixture in there. Then I have um, eyeshadow palettes. I'm trying to pick out eyeshadow palettes I don't use very often. So the Modern Renaissance from Anastasia, this Makeup Academy which was kind of a, a dupe for the um, Urban Decay Fire, the fabulous heat palette that they had. It was so fiery and hot but this is the sort of dupe for that. Um, but some nice colours in there. The Maybelline, I have three different palettes um, of Maybelline and I just don't use them enough so I have that. And then the Tanya Burr which I have one I love. This one it's a little bit more cool toned so I'm using them seeing if I like them and if not I'm going to pass them on to somebody else. Then I have another eye drawer which are mascaras, um, eyeshadow sticks, I've got eyeliners, I've got brow products, then I've got some more eyeshadow, cream eyeshadows and powder eyeshadows, the Victoria Beckham, um, yeah I, that's just too greasy for my eyelids, I need to use it up but it just transfers so quickly but if you want to do a sort of dirty Kate Moss eye that's fabulous. Um, next drawer down we have a selection of highlighters and blushes. So I love the Tanya Burr. I try to use complexion palettes as well. Estee Lauder highlighter, lovely beauty pie, blusher. I have a Rouge Bunny Rouge blusher but I use it as a bronzer. Beauty pie highlighter which is cream. The Pixie Aspen um, Ovard which is London Luster. I love it. A couple of cloud paints, Rocketeur by Benefit, which I love, and one of the Hourglass Ambient Blushes, which again, I love. And then lips, lots of lip products, lip balms, DHC Lip Cream um, Balm, which I really like. There's lip liners and then different lipsticks from Chanel to Givenchy to Charlotte Tilbury to Estee Lauder, Mary Kay, and then the Glossier Lips as well. So that's kind of just what I have on my dressing table and then I have more makeup in the dressing room and I just swap them over. Um, on the top I've also got the English Mineral, um, you recognise their packaging because I've had a lot of their products. This is their Oyster Face Illuminator which is just, oh, it's sort of every colour. It's just amazing, it looks different in different lights but you could use it on the body as well if you wanted so I have that as well to use. Um, but I'm trying to break my habit of the Saint Laurent all-in-one because I'm obsessed with it, totally obsessed. Really getting back into the light wonder from Charlotte Tilbury. Um, and today I wore, I think I showed you the illusion from Hourglass, I like that as well. So quite a mixture there. And that's my sort of little French mirror, so it's sort of a see the glass mirror behind but then it has a shelf as well so ideally I really need to hang that and then I've got a selection of brushes these are not all my brushes I have the large face brushes in one pot and then more detailed eye brushes there and more candles more candles to go at there's three there as you can see so yes more um, the Champneys one is absolutely glorious. My stepdaughter bought it as a Christmas gift and I just don't want to burn it because it still smells amazing and I just love it. Absolutely love it. So I think maybe the White Company, um, I think that one might be next, um, the Orange Grove. And then we'll see what I do. But uh, yeah, more candles. Always got candles. <laughs>